Hello, welcome back. This is uh, San Francisco, the capital of artificial intelligence. You can take a look on my back. And uh, today, actually tonight, I want to talk to you about two things. So you learn two things. One is a recent trend in artificial intelligence that is changing consumer behavior. And two is how a product manager will face an ambiguous situation that is generated by this new trend. Are you ready? Let's go. So I have uh, noted down a few numbers here. So it appears that 59% of consumers value visual information over textual information. So if they were given a chance that they could say, find me something like this, or if they were given a chance to um, say, buy me something like this thing, they would prefer that. And in fact, it appears that 36% of consumers worldwide have used at least one, one new form of uh, retrieving information that uh, goes by the name of visual search. So you have Google that for years has worked with, uh, you know, typing in stuff. And now you have another way of searching things, which is basically giving these uh, uh, engines um, uh, the images. And finally, if that is not enough, and this is uh, an important thing that we're going to discuss very briefly, 69% of millennials prefer visual search over other type of searches. So here is the thing. So what is visual search? Visual search is nothing else than the ability to search information. Given an image, I'll search something similar. And uh, it's the equivalent of the text. So what it is uh, uh, that is behind it, uh, what does enable visual search? Uh, this is once more uh, one of the, uh, I would say, uh, benefits that in the, last, in the last several years we have experienced because of the, uh, I would say, the revival of uh, deep learning and the ability of deep learning to uh, basically uh, become a mass scale uh, type of technology. Now, what is the uh, interesting uh, trend here. The interesting trend is that while human beings overall um, and consumers overall favor the visual information over the textual information, it is the adoption of this technology is more prominent uh, in millennium than it is uh, in the uh, older generation. So the challenge that product managers face in a situation like this is imagine that you want to develop or you want to incorporate a, a system that is capable of visual search. How do you basically indicate to the user that this, this system exists? And how do you teach the users that um, actually they can leverage this new way of searching? So why this is difficult? Because basically if you work in a consumer space, you're gonna have two different type of population. One population that um, has already been, if you like, educated by the like of Google, Pinterest, Google Lens particularly, and, uh, and Amazon. So the, the companies that are really at the large scale uh, leading this uh, new trend new trends are Google Lens, um, then, then we have uh, Amazon and uh, Pinterest. And then recently also Samsung and the other ones are getting into it, just Samsung BBC and so on. So the problem is for all the other ones, let's say, how do they uh, basically find a compromise between the new consumers that can um, actually leverage already this technology, they've been exposed to this technology, and the old ones that instead they have not yet experienced it. So the iconographic of um, how you indicate this new feature is uh, particularly, I would say, interesting for product managers. How are you going to explain this? The, the way that you're going to educate your customers step, step by step where you choose to put the information for the first time possibly should be in a situation where I would say the discovery is uh, very clear. It, it's, it must be a situation where the user doesn't not necessarily have to 
intuit what that thing means, but it just needs to understand that there is something new here that can explore, rather than a situation where there is a lot of ambiguity. So this is a typical challenge that uh, an AI product manager would face in the years to come, which is basically how to communicate a new capability, a new dimension of augmentation of the, of, uh, the human-machine relationship that was not possible before in the past. And so those are, this is one of the challenges that you're gonna face and one of, uh, if you like, uh, the most interesting uh, things about being an AI product manager. It's not only the technology, but it's also designing this uh, very innovative, if you like, and futuristic user interactions that belong to basically the next generation. Now, if you wanna learn about user interactions and artificial intelligence, uh, there are two videos on my channel that you can look. One is with Sam Gong, the other one is with Mikhail. I uh, will leave uh, the link somewhere. And if you want to go much deeper with uh, artificial intelligence and user interface, then you should take my course. Check the link on this uh, very video. Until the next time, see you. Bye bye.